So I made this uh, spreadsheet and you can calculate your total life or your total energy shield. Um, and you can also just find the resistance. Um, I use this when I buy new items or if I level up with a character and don't really upgrade my items at a certain point and then I want to upgrade all of them at one point, then I use this. Uh, in the Prophecy League here I wanted to upgrade all of my items at the same time. Um, so basically, well this one doesn't really matter, but you just plug in your energy shield here if you're an energy shield character um, on the specific uh, item you have. Um, this one, you don't need to use this one at all. Um, so you just plug in here and then you plug in the intelligence because the intelligence also gives you a little bit of energy shield. Uh, and your resistance are like negative 60 um, if you don't plug in anything. Um, if you have 15 on the tree, then that helps also. So it works like that. Um, it's pretty straightforward. You plug in the total amount of um, resistance you have uh, on your passive tree, so the increased amount. Here you plug in the more multiplier if you're using the more multiplier behind um, chaos inoculation, which is 15%. Um, this one is intelligence from the passive tree, which is not the same here. This is intelligence from your items. Uh, this is if you have um, any of the reservation nodes and therefore you might also have some of the, um, the increases to buffs or um, auras. Um, then you need to plug that in here. Uh, and if you run a discipline gem out here, you can see from one to 30. And out here, you can see the number you need to plug in. This is just a flat amount that discipline gives at a certain level. Uh, I just put them all here so you don't have to go and look for them. Um, so you plug that in here. And that's basically how you calculate your total ES. Um, it does calculate a little bit off, but it's you actually have a little bit more than it says here. So that is the good thing. Um, I am going to look into that, but it's not too much. So I'm not really too interested in fixing it right now. Um, also, I, I don't really play life-based characters, but I decided to add this since other people might. Um, so you simply just plug in your character level, since you you get, uh, I believe it's 12 per level, 12 life per level. And then the flat life, if you have any flat life nodes, uh, for instance the Marauder start node, I think gives some flat life, and some of the starting nodes give some flat life. So you just put that here, and all the percentage increased maximum life you put in here and then uh, all the strength of the passive tree you put here and then you put all the strength from your items here and all the life from your items here um, and the same you don't need to use uh, this at all um, or this one so this is the passive tree is just for the resistance um, and then it calculates your total life um, I haven't really tested this because I don't really play a life character, but it seems to work. So if we have this, you ha only have 38 and level one, you get 12 more. So that's 50 and then you can just add, I mean, whatever you want to. So I'm basically just, this is just to show people how it works. So I don't have to explain everything on the forum if somebody asks. So that's basically it.